Well, hello everyone, welcome back to, um, Minecraft, Pixelmon. Um, last episode, I captured one of my favorite legendary Pokemon, Mew. Yes, Mew. I took out Moltres for it, but wouldn't you all do that? But, it's such a... So amazing. It makes the best noises too. It's either annoying or cute. Depends on how you look at it. I also fought my first boss over level 100. It was a huge drowsy. Like, it was so big that. Like, it literally was the size of, like, a Snorlax. And, like, that being the size of, like, a Snorlax. Oh. And you couldn't see its name because it was over its head. Now, I think I'm going to fly around a little bit. Because I remember where I made my, uh, little Zapdos sanctu Sanctuary. Sank, Chu, Mary. Yes, I think I said it right. Sank, Chu, Mary. It was around here. There were like mountains around it. Just trying to get a nice view. Stop it. What's wrong? There it is. There it is. Since I've been like so lucky with cool Pokemon captures, I think. I think I'll be able to get a uh, pretty cool Pokemon this episode. No, I don't want to plant any trees in the Zapdos Sanctuary. He doesn't approve. Zapdos not approve. Now we must sing a song of his people. <laughs> I think I said it right. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Um, I don't think I'm going to catch a Zapdos anytime soon while doing this. So in this episode, I think I'm going to go check out these mountains. See what it's see what this mountain steel is. See if it wants to be nice. See if it enjoys my company. Maybe, maybe if I show up my new Pokemon. Yeah, maybe if I show up my new Pokemon. <laughs> Look. Look at the flying kitten. And accept me, Mountain. Accept me. Okay, well I got those screenshots. I have a ton of screenshots now that I want to post on my Instagram. Mew, I choose you. Like that gold duck. It does sound just like a kitten. Mew, don't die. I need you to laugh. See what its happiness is. I guess I have to level it up to get its happiness up. Let me check my quasa. Its happiness is 60. Oh, yours has got 255. Okay, that's his nature is quiet. I, I, I actually I I actually would get along with quiet and jolly. Well what's what's your nature? Sassy. <laughs> Perfect. You're timid, boring. You're very boring. Is that you're also timid. Okay. So I guess you don't really like people. You think that people are boring. Well, I don't really know what it means, but like 
I, I know what timid means. I know it means boring, but I don't know what, like, a boring personality. Like, I've heard of it, but I don't really understand it. How, how, like, how can your personality be, like, boring? It could be, like, a boring person to talk to. If that's what they mean. Oh, new, you leveled up. Oh, now, oh, I guess it's happiness goes up through, um, leveling up. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna, like, train my Mew, get it up a few levels, um, get its happiness up, because I think if a Pokemon's happiness goes up a lot, it will be, like, either more powerful, I don't know, I think it means that it will level up, um, quicker, and basically just be amazing. So, I'm going to try to get it up as high as I can. And while I also do that, I'm also going to be aware of putting on spawning. So I'm going to try out these mountains. Oh wow, yeah, this thing levels up really fast. I, 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 I love this Mew in my party. I think I'm gonna get that sugar cane. Nah, I don't really need it. Oh, Charmander. Wait, the weather must be clear. Look, its tail isn't glowing. Well, I just noticed that in the rain. It's like in that one Pokemon episode where Ash saves that Charmander that that Australian kid left unattended in the rain with nothing at all to freeze to death. A terrible person. What you don't know is that one day that Charmander became a beast and save Dash, like, multiple times, even from a Mewtwo. So, what that kid doesn't know is that if he stuck with that Mew, if he stuck with that Charmander, he would have been one of the best trainers. Oh, that looks like a different color. with time. Yeah. <laughs> Please be a boss. A shiny would be cool, but a boss would also be cool. I think that's a shiny. No, it's a boss. Mew, you got this. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> holding on, you got this. So we got work up and allies. So that's not a good boss, but... Mew gained a lot of XP. Ooh. To ride on showdown. Oh! There we go. Aha, that didn't help you. So Mew levels up really fast, apparently. These mountains also seem a little bit smaller than the other one. So if a legendary does spawn, it'll be pretty easy to find it. Or at least easier to find it. I think ice is good against uh, dragon. I know it's good against flying, but I think it's also good against dragon. Because if a red quasa spawns, Mew could use blizzard and like almost one-shot it. Cause it's like, as I as I call it, a double super effective. Or, I don't even know. I use that. I know it sounds weird. I'm trying to think of something else to call it, but a mega effective. It's mega effective. I'm gonna start calling it that. Mega effective. Like a Gyarados electricity is mega effective because it's fun. I don't see what it's flying if it can't learn any flying moves except for like aerial ace. 
and doesn't learn any naturally. It was a waste of Nintendo's time to put that in the game. Yeah, Mew. So this is just basically showing Mew's amazing skills in battle this episode. Just just a basic episode. I've done a lot and I kinda just wanna take a just take a break of going on hunts for Pokemon and just settling down a little bit. I heard that like cave noise too. Probably check that out soon. I might also use that moon. I might wait until I use the moonstone because I kind of want to use it on a Clefairy just for the Pokédex, but I also want like a Needle King and a Needle Queen. So I don't know. I'm surprised I've seen this many. Ooh. Oh, hi, Moltres. Um, I guess I'll fly up to it. Ooh, no lag. It's already a great episode. Okay, Mew. You got this. Do, 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 do. Let's see if you can do it. Ancient power. Let's go. This. Oh. 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 Mew versus a Moltres. Mew won. Mew, you're amazing. I'm gonna see its stats compared to before. I kind of. I would. They actually went up with quite a bit compared to what other Pokemon stats might go up, like in four levels. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's a, uh, Jiggly- yeah, there is Jigglypuff in this game. I think Clefable is better than Jiggly. Whoa! You're a little bit that. You're a little bit lost. You're not very lost, but a little bit. I can tell that you've- Found your way out of the uh, out of your natural habitat. No, I'll save you, Charmander. I'm doing it for Charmander. So we've seen how far away that could spawn in a legendary spawn. So I'll be aware of that next time. That it actually doesn't necessarily mean that it's close by to you. Oh well. Can you remember I'll say that has like no special effect? I. Why would I switch out? You, I'm sorry. That was. A f that, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to. It was a fluke. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, another. And a boss Pidgeotto. Hopefully that'll stay. I don't know, roll this episode. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Did you despawn? Nope. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Blizzard. Use it again. Oh gosh. You got this, Mew. I won't like die. I'll leave all out of that. Yeah! Ooh, a heavy ball, other frustration, and a thund thunderbolt. And that, that was good. I, if I do have to stay so much still. So I got some more uh, healing purposes. Uh, I got some more healing items for like special battles with friends and stuff to troll them. I'm gonna check news not stuff. Happiness is going up a lot. So I don't I'm, I'm gonna search like happiness. Cause I kinda I do recall 
what happiness does. Like, besides, like, the move, like, return. Like, return the happiness. Oh, I get it. Like, besides that move, I know that it has some sort of importance. I think it it's in, like, leveling up. It, like, makes it easier to level up, but I think I'm wrong. Woo! Stop it. And boom. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Kill him! Oh. Yay. I also saw that right on. So Mew is great. Not only is it like, well, not only is it pretty powerful, but it's cute. It's got like, I do have to admit, the sounds it makes, like even though it's just like a pixelated thing, it's the sounds it makes. It's pretty cute. It's like, it does definitely remind you of like a happy little kitten. Ooh, it's just so happy. I think that's a shiny behind it. Or something. But this thing me levels up really fast. Also, when it does level up, it's kind of like any normal Pokemon. But just the fact of how rare it is, and how cool it is, and how cute it is, I don't really care. Honestly, I don't care what its stats are. All, all that matters is that it does good in metal. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't care. I, I just want to have. I don't. I've always. Well, not really. I just realized. I just realized to myself. Why would grass type moves be super effective against rock? Like, if you threw like grass at a rock, it's not gonna do anything. But, like, obvious moves are, like, fire and, like, water. If you put water and fire, all it really does is boil, but the water really just stays the same. But if it's, like, I'm trying to think. If it's, like, um, water on fire, the fire will go out. Ice and flying, if you, like, if a bird is, like, cold, it'll fall. Like, its wings freeze and fall. I could see why that would relate to, to it, but grass and rock. Like, why would grass be an element of power against just the rock? Like throwing. I don't know. Yeah, because Nintendo was like, wait, I got a good idea. Let's make grass good against rock. And then just start laughing, and it turns out that no one even realized it. And... Oh, Pikachu! Always oh, a swimming little Pikachu. I'm not gonna mess with him. He seems like he's having a nice day. I'll let him continue having a nice day. Yeah, but I've definitely been posting a lot more videos. I've also been recording a lot more. Makes up for both. So, no Mewtwo yet, but... I found the start of the Mewtwo. I found, I found what was generated to... I'm gonna look at Mew in the Pokédex. Oh yeah, in the Pokédex. I got 151. Oh, that's cool. It like, spins around. Because it can use all kinds of moves, many scientists believe Mew to be the ancestor of Pokemon. So, so Mew, um, well, what about Arceus? Arceus is basically like God in Pokemon. Does that mean Pokemon is based on Greek gods and Adam. 
basically what Arceus is, is what it is, is uh, Pokemon being gods. Basically, Pokemon being the ancestor of a god. Maybe. Oh, why do I keep switching? I keep thinking I'm training until I evolve it. It'd be cool if Mew evolved into Mew too. I actually thought that tune was pretty good. For a few seconds, I just ran on just ran on noise making. I think that was pretty cool. Oh, Cinequil, I, I can't, I can't hurt, I can't hurt you. Just a little fire thing. That would be terrible. But I can't hurt this bird. <laughs> it's over there. Just some more mountains. I'll check it out. Heal. I'm gonna see if any possible thing brings a Pokemon stats down. Nah. That's good. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Tell me if you think Mew's noise is annoying or cute. Because if it's annoying, I'll lower the sound of friendly poke friendly mobs by a little bit. If most people think that it's not annoying, I'll just keep it as it as it is. Ooh. Oh wow. Wait, I found like four of them. I need a few. I'm on foyer. Ooh, that's another one, I think. Oh, wow. It is. No, it's sand. From a slight distance, it looks just like. Sand looks just. Ooh, that's two more. I think that'll give. Yeah, that'll give me enough. These mountains are very nice. Maybe Mew and Arceus were brothers, but one day they're like, nope, and then they just like, went, got into a battle. Cats versus the thing, and they just battled to, to the <clears throat> death, and there was no winner, and so they just gave up, and parted ways. Maybe that's what this is about. I like how people make all these theories about like Pokemon and stuff, when honestly it's never going to be proved or solved. It's like, no, um, you was the first Pokemon Arceus came before that. Nintendo was never going to solve that. I'm sorry, but it's true. They don't really care about that. I'm sorry if I just ruined someone's day. I want to find the milk tank. I don't want dead bodies. I want milk. So I'll evolve that Poliwhirl and I'll level up my Mew one more because all he needs is like one more good battle. And then I'll evolve that Poliwhirl. 
of mine. And then I'll be done with this episode. Yo, no. I'm sorry, but you just gotta stop. This will bring it up. Oh no, Mew, you burnt my cute little Mew. Wow, oh, it didn't level up. Oh. oh, it's like so close. One more not so decent battle will bring it up. Not, oh, not that undecent. That Graveler will bring it up, for sure. Just like 500 XP. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna make a Water Stone show now. Let me just put this away. This was a pretty short episode, I mean, not really, but kind of a little, but I still hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, leave a like, if you'd like to see something different, or if you'd like something to be changed about what I do in my, in my videos, please comment below, and I will make and I will do my best to make a change. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Let me see what this looks like. Hold on. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like derped out. So I'm gonna put it back. And my Pokédex. It's starting to look really nice, especially this section right here. Now I need an Alakazam. No, I don't want to search Pokemon. Stop. Wait, I'm going to see if I still... I'm going to press escape. Do I still have too many? Oh, yeah, I do. I haven't used the letter O in 65 years. Um. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, Leave a like. If you don't leave a like, then, oh man, so thank you all, and see you guys.